After two years of living in our truck camper, Sasha and I have had plenty of time to figure out which of the upgrades we've done have been the most useful, especially when we were first starting out. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the three most useful RV upgrades that we've done and that we would do again in the future with a new RV. So let's get started. In the number three spot, we have a battery monitor. When we started boondocking more often, our battery levels became more and more important to monitor. After a couple months of struggling to figure out exactly how much power we had left in our batteries, I installed this Renogy battery monitor. There are many options on the market, but this one fit nicely in my little panel, and it was affordable. For me, a battery monitor was the first step in building a system that would support our increasing power needs. Now that I've made some substantial power upgrades, I'm probably going to be upgrading my monitor, most likely to a Victron Smart Shunt. It offers Bluetooth connectivity so I can monitor everything from my phone, and it frees up this panel so that I can install a power switch for my second inverter. I strongly recommend getting a power monitor of some type because it will make managing your batteries much easier. I'm going to leave links to several battery monitors down below, so take a look through them and see what you like. The prices and feature set they offer vary widely, so you'll really have to choose one based on your own needs. But in my opinion, they're really worth the investment. In our second spot, we have this Camco RhinoFlex sewer hose, which we ended up getting after we had two of the cheaper hoses fail on us. We started off our travels using this Camco Revolution, which is the same company, and this is their cheaper vinyl option. And we found that after about two or three months, they would start cracking on us, especially in cold weather. These are made out of a 15 mil vinyl. This is made out of 23 mil polyolefin, which I don't really know what that is, but it's much more flexible and doesn't give us any troubles in cold weather. Both times that we had this style hose fail on us, it was rather cool out. So I think that has something to do with it. The last time it broke on us, it was while we were dumping our black tank and it made a big mess. And that really made me want to figure out a better hose solution. So I set off to the internet and I found that the general consensus is that this hose is cheaper, but it does not hold up as long as this hose. This is a $15 hose, this is a $20 hose. At least it was at Walmart. There is another option above this, which I didn't feel like I needed. I think it's called RhinoFlex Extreme. It was significantly more money and this has been working for us really well. For an extra $5, you get a lot more durability and a lot more length. These are both 10 foot hoses and I'm going to stretch them out. I'm going to try at least. So these are stretched out. This one is about eight or nine inches longer right now. But when I let go, this one doesn't really spring back. This one does. So at 10 feet, this one's already longer. And then with the springing effect, it's much longer. So if you're at an RV park, now you can have your RV hooked up like this and you have all this length. If you were to use this one, you'd be kind of dangling in the middle. So this is our actual sewer hose setup right now. It's gotten a little bit dirty, but if you look at the surface, it's nice and clean. There's a little bit of, I can feel it, it's, it's got some use on it. But it still works extremely well, there's no holes, there's no leaks and uh, it's been one of the best upgrades we've made. I wish that we had known about that long, long ago. I think this hose is well worth the extra $5, and if you guys are looking for a hose, I would completely skip that Camco Revolution. It's gonna give you nothing but troubles. Also, while doing research for this video, I found a huge price discrepancy between Walmart and Amazon prices for this particular hose. I'm gonna leave links to both down below, However, make sure you check the prices before you place an order. The last time I looked, Walmart was significantly cheaper. In our number one spot, we have our Max Fan Deluxe 7000 series. Many years ago, I lived in a fifth wheel for about two years. That experience taught me the importance of ventilation, especially in rainy, wet weather. The fifth wheel I had came equipped with a fantastic fan that had a rain sensor. So anytime it would start raining, the fan would automatically close the cover. That's a great safety feature so your RV doesn't get wet. But it doesn't really help with airflow on a rainy day. 
I eventually installed a vent cover over the Fantastic fan, which let me use it during rainy days. Both of those together was a great combination. Several years after that, when Sasha and I bought our first travel trailer together, the first thing I wanted to do is make sure that we had adequate ventilation. So I set off to Google to find the best option out there. After lots of research, I settled on the MaxFan Deluxe 7000 series. It was the very first upgrade I did to that camper and I've been in love with the fan ever since. The Max fan will run rain or shine because it has an integrated vent cover. It's also very low profile, especially in comparison to the other vent covers, which are quite tall. And because it has a remote control, it lets me run it from bed, which is really helpful. When we go to bed, a lot of the time it's hot in the camper, so we're running the fan. But then come 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, it's cooled down a lot. That would normally mean that I have to get out of bed and go shut off the fan. But with this remote, it lets me do it right from bed. It also has 10 speeds which work in forward and reverse. When we got our Cirrus truck camper, the first upgrade I did was to install a Max fan just like I did in the travel trailer. The fan runs most of the time and sometimes for weeks on end. We also use it while we're driving to help keep the camper cool while we're in motion. I think this is probably the best fan on the market and we've been really happy with ours. We've had it for two years now and it's still going strong. We think that these are the three most useful upgrades for any RV, especially when you're first starting out. These are just our opinions, and we'd love to hear yours, so please let us know down in the comments what you think your best upgrades have been. Thanks for watching all the way to the end, and I'll see you in the next video, which is only going to be a few seconds, because you're going to click one of these. They're both great videos. Either one is fine.